Welcome back to Dr. Read the Puddle. For all of you that hit the subscribe button, I want to say thank you. I appreciate you watching my videos. The last video we talked about properly changing out a spool of wire on your MIG welder. Today we're going to explain cast and helix. What is it? Why does it affect the weld puddle? As you can see, I have three different diameter spools here. Your very typical one pound spool, which happens to be aluminum, that's all I had. A 10 pound spool and we have a 40 pound spool of 045 wire. So all three of these spools are slightly different, obviously. And as you notice, as I unraveled a little bit of each wire, they all formed a nice circle there. That circle is called cast. Now that cast is going to dictate how that wire feeds through the contact tip. If you have a very, very tight cast on there, you'll notice when that wire comes out of your contact tip, you're going to see almost like a spir spiraling action going on, and that can damage the contact tip. Um, and it causes premature wear on your consumables, even your liner. So your smaller spools are going to have that tighter cast. We get up into the 10-pound spools. You can see the cast is, you know, a little bit wider, and in the 40-pound spool is a little bit wider as well. So the cast again is a basic circle that's formed as it's rolled through the spool. Okay, now we're going to talk about helix. As you can see, I unspooled a little bit of this aluminum wire, and it naturally formed almost like a spring, just like a slinky back in the day. That's called helix. You can see this regulator spring, the height on it, has a natural height from the, from the way it's formed on that spool. So helix can cause feed issues on your, on your machine, but most of the time it's going to be your contact tip or your liner is bad. So before you go diving in the cast and helix, check the basics first contact tip, liner, and that's going to give you a better, better suggestion on where to go if you're having problems, uh, having problems with your machine. So I hope to get another video out by the time uh, Thanksgiving comes, but if I don't, have a very happy Thanksgiving, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.